Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to get started with building a GUI in Java. GUI or GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. A GUI is made up of things like buttons, windows, and text fields that users interact with while using the program. To build our GUI, we will be using the Abstract Window Toolkit, otherwise known as AWT, and also the Swing Toolkit. These packages are already part of the Java standard library, and they contain many different classes that we can use to build our graphical user interface. We'll be able to do things such as create windows and panels, buttons and text fields, and make our program respond whenever a user clicks on something, and many more. Let's start with the Swing Toolkit. I have a class here that I've called GUI Demo, I'll go up here and then I will type import uh, java x.swing.jframe in order to import the Swing Toolkit's JFrame class. The JFrame class will allow us to create a JFrame object. A JFrame object, to put it simply, is a window and this window will contain the rest of the components of our GUI, such as the buttons and the text fields, etc. Let's go ahead and add a couple of fields. First, let's make a field for the actual JFrame. I'm going to type private JFrame, and then I will name this field frame. And then I'll be adding two integer fields as well. one to store the width, and another to store the height. So this would be for the width and the height of the JFrame. And then let's create the constructor. Let's give it two integer parameters so that we can pass to it the desired width and height for our JFrame. And then we will instantiate the actual JFrame by typing frame equals new JFrame and then width is equal to W and height is equal to H. Next, I will create a custom method that will set up the GUI. For this method, I'll say public void, and I will call it set up. The first thing I'll do here is I will set the size of the JFrame. To do that, I will use the set size method. There is no need for us to define this method anymore because it's an already existing method of the JFrame class. We can just go ahead and use it. The way set size method works is you pass to it two integers. The first one will be for the width of the window, and the second one will be for the height. So we can say, for example, frame dot set size, and then in the parentheses, eight hundred comma six hundred. And the resulting JFrame will be 800 pixels wide and 600 pixels high. But for this one, I'm just going to pass our width and height fields since this is why we created those fields in the first place. So whatever values these fields end up having when we create the GUI demo will be the width and the height of our window. After that, I'll add a title to my JFrame using the setTitle method. This one accepts a string, which will be displayed in the JFrame's title bar, which you'll find at the top of the window. So I'll just say, I will just make the title say GUI demo. After that, I will type frame.set default close operation jframe dot 
exit on close. This line states that when the user closes the window, then the application will exit. Another option such as hide on close, this will just keep the application running even after you press the X button that closes the window. But let's use exit on close for this one. And then finally, we have to actually show the window by invoking the set visible method and passing to it a value of true in order to actually um, show the window. Without this, we won't see the window. This line usually comes at the end because you want to set all of these other things first before you actually um, show the window. So all of these methods that we just used are part of the JFrame class. We did not need to make them ourselves. We just have to import the JFrame class and then we can use them. So now let's go ahead and test our program to see if we are able to create a JFrame. I have another class here called GUI Tester, which has the main method. Inside the main method, I will make an instance of our GUI demo class. I will name it GD, and then I'll say is equal to new GUI demo. And I'll pass to it the values 640 and 480 because it's expecting two integers for the width and the height fields. And then we call our custom method named setup GUI by saying gd.setup GUI. So let's run our app. I'll open up a command line window here from my folder. And then I'll compile the files. But before I do that, I think I actually need to save these first. Okay, so now that I've saved the files, Java C asterisk.java. And then I will run GUI tester because that's the one with the main method. And here is our window. So this is our JFrame. It's 640 pixels wide and 480 pixels high. Here's the title bar with the specified title. And if I close the window, the application terminates. So that's because we specified um, exit on close here. In the next video, we'll add a big button inside the window and we'll make it print out a message in the command line window every time the button is clicked.